Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to be doing another review. Um, today we're going to be doing Zombie Bill USA. This is the start of Season 2 of iPod Touch Game of the Week. So to start us off, you will see the whole menu as of now. It might be a few seconds before I push the options, but I'm going to be going uh, showing you guys through the options and uh, the different game types. So. The options are pretty much really simple. You have your SFX sound, your pretty much your sound effects, your game center, which I'm not uh, on at right this moment. You can turn them on and off by just clicking them. Uh, music, on and off, same thing. Same thing with voice chat. Um, voice chat is if you're playing cooperatively. Yes, this game has cooperative gameplay, which I will show. I won't actually show you any gameplay because I don't have anybody to play with. But I will show you the options for cooperative gameplay. Now. As soon as I go back, which might be a thing, uh, so pretty much as you push play, there's co-op and solo. Uh, if you push co-op, um, you can go game center or Bluetooth. Game center, I'm pretty sure, is where you connect online, play with other people, and Bluetooth is local multiplayer. And once you come in here, here's your main menu. As I'm going to show weapons first. When you click on weapons, this is what should pop up. You will start with your pistol, bat, and shotgun. Uh, and I bought that other shotgun. Your shotgun won't look exactly like that one. It'll look a little different because that's completely upgraded. I'll talk about upgrades in a second. Uh, pretty much, um, there are different types of weapons. There's quite a few. Like, there's an Uzi, as I will be showing you now, which is a very cheap, uh, not very expensive weapon. It is a more of a. It's like a uh, just an automatic gun. Next, I will be showing you the fire axe, which is a uh, better melee weapon than your bat. It's pretty cheap, also. It's five hundred dollars. Um, and then you have this is pretty unique. It's a med kit. It gives you health and your teammates' health. Then there are also, um, more over here, if they, uh, there's an assault rifle, um, if they are locked, then they will have the lock on them, and that means you just don't have enough money, I'm just showing you guys a little bit more of the weapons here, um, so overall, there are different type of weapons, as you'll see, this is a Cyro weapon, which is considered an experimental gun, a minigun, which is uh, automatic weapon, flamethrower, I'm not sure, I think it's experimental also. A magnum, which is a, a pretty much a better pistol in an RPG, which is, you know, rocket launcher, and then the Tesla gun, which is the best gun I'm pretty sure in the game, is another experimental weapon. Now, uh, there are different types of weapons, obviously. There are mainly pistols, melee weapons, shotguns, let's show you here, this is a different shotgun, and this is the other one that I have all the way upgraded. There are automatic weapons, such as the Uzi, um, and the assault rifle. There's a sniper rifle and also the uh, other on that gun. There are his equipment here and also like I was saying I was showing you a little bit of equipment. The minigun is also an automatic weapon. And then there are our experimental guns and then special guns. I'm pretty sure special guns would just be like the flamethrower. I don't think it's actually experimental. So that's a lot of the weapons. Um, you can also upgrade the weapons um, once you get the weapon completely upgraded it goes to uh, a different weapon I will show you the upgrade in a second but there is also a chainsaw which is I think considered a melee weapon um, but it does take gas so it does take ammo each weapon has a certain amount of ammo certain amount of damage um, range and all that and it can be upgraded as upgrades you don't get to pick and choose what your upgrades are, but the farther that you upgrade, the better upgrades usually are. Whew. Okay, so pretty much this weapon is a wep up, uh, weapon that's already all the way upgraded. And this is a weapon that you can upgrade. You push the upgrade arrow, and it'll upgrade the ammo capacity. I already upgraded it once, and it upgraded the knockback force by 20. Uh, each weapon, even though if they're in the same tier, are a little different from each other. Each weapon acts differently. And about that's about it for the weapons. I will be going on to the perks in a second here. 
Um, please stand by for that. Alright, so I'm at the perks now. There are many different perks. Uh, each of them do a unique thing. There are certain perks that increase weapon damage for certain type of weapons, which I'll be showing you here in a second. This one is for automatic weapons. The other one was for pistols. I already have one unlocked for shotguns. This one is for the sniper rifle. It says sniper rifles, but there is only one that I know of. That's for melee, and this is for experimental weapons. Uh, then there is also one for the flamethrower, I believe, which is Pyromaniac. And this is just, uh, this increases your health. Or no, like it increases, like, you, you're pretty much just overall brute force. Um, this increases explosive weapons for, like, the equipment. And then there is also a Pyromaniac one. I'm showing you guys this one for, uh, I don't know why I put that one on there. Anyway, and then there's Pyromaniac. There's also other ones that increase your person um, specifically, like the body armor. Increases uh, like your resistance, um, how far you can sprint, um, how well you aim, how much you hit, um, all, all this stuff. Uh, how much money you gain from the levels. There is a perk that and like lets you regenerate health named radioactive I very recommend that one that is one of the better ones and then there's also ones that work cooperatively these perks all cost a thousand dollars at per uh, first person purchase and all can be upgraded I'm just showing you a co-op one or no I'm not sure if that was co-op one or not but I was just showing you another one there and like I'll show you here I'm pretty sure I'll show you here that you can upgrade it and it increases the effectiveness. Depending on the upgrade, sometimes they're more expensive, sometimes they only cost a thousand each, sometimes they cost a thousand more each, sometimes they cost more, depending on how well the perk is. Now I'm going to be showing you guys characters. The chef, as you can see, is the, uh, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, each character in this game does not hold the purpose to um, an ability they're just they look different like in the other game um, they uh, each character did something different and had a special ability here they just look different and that's about it so if you don't like the redneck looking guy then you can buy them they're all really cheap fifty dollars and that's like you'll get enough to buy probably two of them in the first game like the first run one or two of them in the first run so you won't have to worry about changing characters This here is the map for your levels. Each level gets progressively harder, uh, which is marked by this star, and you have to defeat a certain amount of zombies to unlock the next level. I already have all but one unlocked, but I'm pretty sure there are about a hundred or so more each time, and it gets more and more and more. I will now be showing you guys some gameplay. So pretty much the mechanics of this game is that's the start button at the top there and at the left is how you move your character unlike the other game it is up down left and right the buttons on the right bottom right side determine what gun you're using you can hold three guns at a time and um, that's about it the top right shows the counter for your score each time you kill a zombie the multiplier goes up as long as you don't get hit but once a certain amount of time runs out it goes away um, each zombie gives you a certain amount of uh, points. The higher the level is, the harder the zombie is, but the more points they'll give you. You go mostly right, you can go left, but you want to try to get as far as possible to get more points, um, more money, and you shoot material along the way to get either ammo or money. Now there are no health pickups, so that's why I highly recommend getting the radioactive perk, because it regenerates health. Without it, you're pretty much screwed. It, it helps you a lot to get through the earlier and the later levels. Unlike the other game, you can't go into houses either to get equipment or anything. Or, well, to get not equipment, but like ammo and stuff. And every time at the end of the level, your ammo regenerates the next time you play. As you can see with the upgraded shotgun, all the zombies are dying in pretty much one hit mainly because this is the very first level 
it won't be this quite so easy to be, uh, for the first time. Um. Sorry about that. All right, I will continue speaking. <laughs> Anyway, so you pretty much have to just go until the timer runs out, and then you're pretty much good. Once the timer runs out, as you'll see in a minute here, you can either just sit here and uh, kill as many zombies as you can for the more points with your weapon until your ammo runs out, or you can opt out and just go right ahead. As I'll show you here in a second, me getting on the ladder is how you end the level. Once the level is completed, one second, I guess I'm still killing zombies. <laughs> Once the level is completed, there will be a score sheet. Um, it tells you s kills, score, exact accuracy, health, distance, and skill bonus. Final score, and then it tells you the money. Um, I'm not sure how they calculate it exactly. It's not completely accurate, it seems like. Like, it doesn't necessarily... It's kind of a combination of uh, score and distance. Um... There are four, to five different types of zombies, my bad. There's spitting zombies, there are running zombies, which are faster. Spitting zombies are a little bit stronger, but they're slower. Regular zombies, which are just normal. Uh, the big zombies, as you saw one before, extremely powerful, but um, very, very slow. And then there are other ones, which will pop up here. And as you can tell, this level is one of the hardest levels there is. And I am getting pwned. I'm getting completely slaughtered by them. Um, sorry about the lag. The lag never happens in the game. And then those zombies there, the big ones, the other big ones, but they explode. They're much easier to kill than the other big ones, than the normal big ones. Um, as you can tell, each level has a different layout, um, but the same premise each time. I will probably end up dying soon, as you'll see, and sorry for the lag. The game does not lag, it runs at a good frame rate, and then it lags like this. The only reason it's lagging is because of uh, display recorder, which is another reason that I'm about to die. Um, I think I die really soon. I think I blow up one of the big guys and then I die. But pretty uh, overall, I would rate this game, I don't know, I just get killed. I'd rate this game about a good four and a half out of five good replay value um, but other than that guys that's about it uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video and found this helpful I suggest buying it it's only 99 cents and the iTunes store if you have a jailbroken iPod like me then it's even better um, thank you guys for watching that's about it um, please rate comment subscribe I will have be having a lot more of these out recent uh, soon <laughs>